out on a walk today and I was going to do a video later today. Um, we just got back from Mexico and I thought, you know, I really need to talk about this COVID test to enter back into the U.S. Um, I'm a little busy today, so I thought, well, I'll just do it off the cuff while I'm walking. So as you may know or may not know, when you want to arrive into the U.S. from a country outside of the U.S., you need to take a COVID test. And it has to be taken 24 hours maximum uh, before you enter the country or before you depart the country you're in. So I think that part's, it's well known. And a lot of hotels will offer this test for your convenience. So we um, went for a test on Saturday because we were flying out on Sunday. And it's at our hotel. And I walk in, I sit down, I give her my information, passport. Of course, it's $30 per test, which is just ridiculous. 60 bucks for the two of us is a solid meal. Not a fine dining meal, it's a solid meal. The sitting on her desk is a tip jar. It was actually, it was more like a tip container. And on top of that money, it was a $20 bill, US dollars, $20. And I'm thinking, who's tipping a lab? 20 bucks. I don't tip any of my lab personnel, ever. Never even thought of doing it. So what's the point? Why, why are they doing that? And as she's taking down my information, and I'm looking at this pile of money, it looked like maybe the first three or four bills were 20s. Under that, there was morning, there were a series of uh, 10s under there. It was a stack, though. It was a stack of cash like this. What a racket. 60 bucks for a test. Who's tipping them? People who are afraid that maybe they're not going to pass the test. Um, maybe it's people who didn't pass and they had to go back and have it retaken. I really don't know. Nobody that we talked to at the resort ever had any um, indication of not feeling well, looking like they were really sick. Um, maybe a little, you know, stomach malaise from, from something they ate, but the people that we talked to all week seemed fine. Um, we then spent the afternoon in the, in the pool, our last day, uh, dancing in the evening, room full of people, dancing, swimming, talking, walking, drinking. Um, tell me that nothing is going to happen between the time you take the test and the time you leave. I'm pissed off. I'm pissed off that I have to give my money to this. That somebody is making bullcrap money off of this requirement that is false safety. So have you run across a chip jar at a lab before? Maybe in another country? Maybe in our country. I don't know. Maybe it's a normal thing and I just never noticed. Like tipping your, your hairdresser or bartender. It's crazy. <laughs> 